If you take 40 years to write a piece or, and, and to finish a piece, there are going to be all sorts of experiences that are going to come into that work. It was an incredible struggle for him, but when it came out, boy, it's fantastic. It, it had the most difficult birth of any piece by any composer I can think of. And I'm not sure that Vaughan Williams ever really thought it would be performed. Although I think it's incredible music, and I think that the performance as a whole, or rather the work as a whole, has an incredible impact in performance, there are very different styles in the opera, which make great contrast, but you can tell, for example, at the beginning of Act 4 was the, was the very first thing that he wrote. It's written in, in a very spare style, very small instrumentation. Uh, I think Act 1 is quite incredible and absolutely, absolutely through composed. It has, unfortunately, uh, a chequered performance history. And the first performance at, at Covent Garden wasn't good. It was thrown on, really, with a very amateur-looking production. And it was savaged. And then three years later, it was produced by uh, E.J. Dent uh, at the Arts Theatre in Cambridge. And it was a massive success. I've just conducted it in the Sydney Opera House. It was the Australian premiere and ended with a standing ovation. And that's the kind of response this piece has. But it has huge logistical problems. And I think there are 37 solo roles, which you can double up a bit. You need 20 to 25 singers. But that's a big cast. I've just returned from Australia and looked at the plans which the designer has done, which are very exciting. In South as well, the orchestra will be on stage. So it will be, it will be a semi-staged concert performance. Uh, he's uh, um, designed the most incredible set uh, which features the orchestra at the front of the stage with the chorus going immensely high. And then there are various walkways through the orchestra, around the orchestra and above the orchestra. Because it's probably a once or twice in a lifetime opportunity to come and hear a really great work with the Philharmonic Orchestra, with 25 soloists and a chorus in fantastic music. And it's such a colossal undertaking to put this piece on that it, it, it's very unlikely to be done in, in, in London again until the next anniversary. And it is an experience, it is, it is a spiritual and radiant experience that you'll never forget. <laughs>